Welcome again to our morning devotions with Revival Time Assembly. Good day to all of you that have taken the time to join us on this important subject of time. And we spoke of our past time, present time, future time. And today we want to look very briefly at the subject of making time. If there is ever a time we as children of God need to be close to God is now. Of course, we are concerned about what is happening around us and around the world, and we ought to be concerned. But do we not know what's the time? Now is the time you have to guard your salvation. You have to guard your soul, guard your mind. You have to keep focus, be an earthly guardian over your family, keep under God's anointing. We must not be distracted by what is happening around us and that would cause us to lose our focus and not understanding that this is the day that the Lord has still made and he made it for a purpose that we must rejoice despite what comes up. We must find, make the time. Making time is a sacrifice, but it's a commitment that we must make in order to live and to please and to serve the Lord. Sometimes we make a lot of excuses and reasons why we cannot do certain things, but yet we are committed to doing other things that should take second place in our life. We must make time to worship, make time to pray, make time to read our Bibles, make time to witness, make time to ensure that we promote the gospel, telling people about Jesus Christ. We must make time to have fellowship. We must make time to greet and to bless others. Time is important, but we have to make the time. It would always seem in the cycle of mankind that 24 hours a day is not enough. But God designed it that way. So in that 24 hours, make the time. You must make time. In the book of Daniel, Daniel chapter 12 and verse 1, it says, And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble. Yes, we are in that time. Yes, the world is in confusion. But despite what? We, as believers of the Lord Jesus Christ, must prepare to stand up at this time for what we believe, for what the Word of God says. It says there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since there was a nation. Even to that same time, and at that time, thy people shall be delivered. Everyone shall be found written in the book, even in the midst of all that is going on around us. When we make time for God, even when it looks like trouble on every side, God has promised that He will deliver us. We would not be bound. We would not be left behind only because we made time. We focus on our time. We sacrifice time. We know sometimes at the end of the day we are tired, burnout, weary, but when we look back at that day, 
that we have made time for, we can say praise the Lord. God, you have been good. You have kept me today. Thank you because my time is in your hands. Father, I thank you for this time to pray with all those that are listening. And we pray your hand of blessing be upon us this day as you, God, will deliver us from these troubled times. In Jesus' name, amen. Tomorrow, we will deal with signs of the times.